What is going on everybody? I am here with some more Dead Island. Last time we have did a few side missions. One of them, um, finding the finding a lifeguard tower, a new location, and, and another fast travel point. And we did, uh, we stole the generators back, which we were going to do. And now since uh, off screen, I did some a little bit of exploring, you know, start scavenging for some stuff. And I came across this side mission. Remember uh, uh, in the beach, there was a store that... Uh, that we heard of a guy needing an insulin, and uh, uh, and this is it. Too much sugar. Get the insulin to Luke's brother D Danny. Luke, easy. Okay, there. Found XP. Yeah. Good. But you better go. He's All right, you got it. And I also found a collectible, a uh, a personal ID card right here. In uh, one of the shelves. Nothing around here. No, okay. So now I was honestly, I was trying to uh, get back to the car, but I don't know. She had a bottle of alcohol. Was it right here? Oh yeah, it's right here. Just past it. Oh wait, but we gotta get back to do this mission. So we can't do that just yet. Now we could explore this side of the bungalows, as you see right here. There isn't really nothing much over here. Uh, we still have to explore uh, this side. As you can see, there are bungalows here that are uh, in the water. That is that is what we have to explore. But I'm not gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this last. Uh, and to like later later. So I don't have to worry about that. Uh, there's an exclamation point on to where to bring the insulin, but it's not giving me an option to open a door. Let's go this guy. Nice. Use a damn best knuckles. There. Okay, now it's giving me the option to. There we go. Here's this guy. Wait, you're not my brother. He must have sent you, right? Thank you. I'll just wait until this kicks in. Wait until Luke. Gets yeah, you gotta level up. But it looks like he, he's not gonna come back for a while because he was injured. But it will take some of your stuff. Let's see what he got in here. Like I said, you you will find co collectibles. Nah, that guy could wait. The way he says it's near the beach, around the beach, I think in this side. Yeah, I think on this side of the beach that he's trapped in because we explored this part of the beach and nothing really there was nothing really around here so he's got to be somewhere in this part All right now since we got a level up uh, we could now we're level six now let's do Increase force damage and blunt weapons. Yes, that's what I do need. Wait, let's explore. 
over here? What's useful? Knock this guy out with the best knuckles. Now you cannot enter some of these bungalows without uh, doing some side missions. They got a lot of alcohol and some more water. Let's see what we got. Now, uh, loot does respawn when you uh, travel in other areas. Or when you um. When you uh, quit quit out of the game fully and then come back so some of the stuff does respawn which is actually pretty good So now we're gonna be doing the next side quest which Which one was it? Yeah, we got to talk to James now since uh, we unlocked all the generators and I'm just gonna cut away to till we get towards the life tower. Find me some Win in the stomach. Get two cans of food for Ned. Difficulty easy. Now I believe this is another uh, continuous mission. Thank you. I need food. Let's go talk to James. I saw what you did for him. Get it. Nice. The lighthouse is back online. And we need to cover all our bases. A few of us started arranging a huge help sign out in the clearing nearby. When we were chased off by those fucking things. Now, everyone's too scared to go back out there. But if you could finish the sign for us, I'll make it worth your while. What do you say? Council of Despair. Finish the he finish the help sign out out in clear in the clearing. Out in the clearing. Devotsky hard. Reward seven hundred. And a Twitch mod. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Good. But uh, do me a favor. Be careful. Now we there. already know the drill. Well, if you put mods in as an reward, uh, you'll get me. Take this lead pipe. Okay. Marcus said it's gonna work. Let's give it a shot and turn it on. I just hope it doesn't bring down the electrical. Did you see his eyes there for a second? <laughs> his eyes like glowed up in the back of his head. Looks like it worked. Come on, I'll open the storage shed. Yeah, for you. and I got a wrench for that. Nice. A ray of hope. And now since we have the he opened the storage uh, for us, there is a workbench here. A signal amplifier. Go back to Damiac to Dominic do that. Oh yeah, this is the we got the signal amplifier for the uh, lifeguard station. So now we don't. Ha Need to upgrade anything for now since we don't have that much stuff. So it's no since we don't have that much items. So now I don't think is that nearby. I don't think so. Go back to Dominic. Give the single amplifier. Okay, so we're gonna fast travel back onto the lifeguard tower. And give it, give this back to Dominic. And that's what we're gonna do. Hello, my good sir. I got something for you. Nice. Maybe we can finally get this fucker to work. You got it. Thanks. Yeah, we gotta level up. Jeez, we leveled up twice in this episode. Nice. Now let's uh.
Now we're level 7. Let's do this. More chances of incoming damage into stamina boost. Nice. Okay, so we'll do that. Now, uh, one thing I did forget to mention is that uh, in the beginning when this game came out, the highest level is uh, was level 50. But then uh, doing uh, patches and updates, uh, now the highest level is actually 60. So there is, if you say, there's a lot more to do and stuff. Well, there's a lot more to do instead of farming, things like that, you know. But I don't know why it's level 60 when... When, uh, cause I completed, uh, you know, uh, everything 100%, did every single one of the uh, side missions, main missions, got all the collectibles, and I've always gotten to uh, level 50. That's every time, for every single one of the characters. I guess to level 60, I don't know, to farm, or to things like that, you know, but uh, I never gotten past level 50 uh, in all of the characters. Now let's let's do uh, this uh, uh, this exclamation point. I think this one right here is another um, side quest. Now, when you explore, uh, when you explore the areas, you will come across uh, random people that have some side quests for you. So it's always good to actually do those. And it's always good to actually um, explore, you know, not just looking for collectibles, but just um, open up areas, new areas for you. To see uh, what is there. Okay, listen, there's this tall hombre that owes me some money. Mucho dinero. But he came down with whatever this infection is and paid me what he owes me and exactly his first priority. I'm thinking his money's inside his bungalow, but I need the key to get in there. It's not like the poor hijo de puta needs it anymore. Hey, listen, if you get me the key, we'll split the cash. Deal? Hit and run. Acquire the key from Omar's undead deadbeat. <laughs> Difficulty medium, reward 600 XP, and we got some cash. Sure. Yeah. We'll do it. Good, good. Listen, he's hard to miss. Very tall. And I'm pretty sure I saw him at the bar. Get back here as soon as you have the key, all right? You got it. I have some stuff here. Okay, good. Hey, let me know when you I will. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Now, the location right here is not that far. So we're just gonna run pass by. Do a little bit of shortcuts. Now this is this is where we were in the beginning of the game, uh, at the hotel, this huge hotel. Now just a note, uh, too bad you cannot go back in here, uh, go back in that huge hotel. Uh, now wait, I think you can, but like not, I think only just like the lobby. But you cannot explore uh, some parts of the whole, t some parts of the us. Uh, you can't explore uh, upper parts of the hotel, which sucks. Which that would have made it a lot more interesting. Damn, this place was freaking ransacked. Kill this guy, thank you. Is he in here? Hit a run. Kill the key owner. Yep, and we have to get the key from this thug. Which it's going to be difficult to do. And I'm stuck. Oh, 
Okay, he's he's down. Get him. There we go. Open. Spiteful nail hammer. Nice. Now we gotta deliver the now that we gotta take back the key to Omar. Now, is there anything around here? I think so. It's another thug. Now we can't. Yeah, we can't open. Uh, knock this guy out. Let's keep moving, amigos. Okay, now since we got back the key. Safe and sound. Move the painting. Ah. That's it. Yes. <laughs> Muchas gracias, amigos. All right. Here's your cut. Nice. We got two hundred and eighty-six dollars and XP. Amigos, I hear there are more survivors at the lifeguard tower. Can you help me get there? If you do, I'll give you this weapon. Promise. One shot takes down a mob of those pendejos. Omar Escort. Escort. Help Omar get to the lifeguard tower. Easy, difficult. Uh, 600 XP and revolver. Yeah. Gracias. We better go, huh? Nice. Hold up, though. Let me see what's in here before we actually move on. Okay, nothing else in here. Now, uh, we have to escort him to the, now we can't fast travel. Rapido. Okay, I'm trying to, now doing the escort missions is actually one of the frustrating things. Knock this guy out. There we go. Jesus Christ. There you go. Blew his brains out. Yeah, as I'm saying, doing escort missions is, is the most frustrating things when it comes to this. Because we have to uh, pace uh, as as he's doing. It isn't like some escort missions where uh, when you run, he uh, the uh, the other person runs. Nice. Okay. So now we have to wait for Omar and then prevent him from getting killed by the infected. Oh, now he's running when he's been walking for the past few minutes. Yeah, we made it here to the lifeguard tower. Now, of course, there shouldn't be any more infected around here. So everything should be fine. Jesus Christ! This guy's taking for <laughs> this guy's taking forever. Come on, hurry up! Hurry up! I got the we got the door open for you. So you telling me to hurry? And then freaking you going slow as hell. Thank you, Jesus. Gracias. Hey, I always remember my amigos. You got it. Now give me the revolver, which we can't uh, use until we're level ten, which is not that far away. We're only level seven, so it's not gonna be that long to actually get a revolver. And now, since we finished uh, some um, side missions, I'm gonna end the episode off here. So next time on dead island we're still gonna be we're still going to be continuing on some side missions so bear with me just a little bit more we just got a few more to go 
Until next time.